We're here, Highlands, New Jersey. We got six or seven boats this morning. No, so many stand. different theories on what they do, where they go. Um, and we really just want to learn more about the fish we love so we can do a better job of caring for them and just catching them. The only thing we know, Mike, is that we don't know. Right? We don't know where they really go. We don't know. Everybody told us where they went, right? All the scientists said where they went. Well, we've already proven that that's not right, right? And it's not that anybody was wrong, just we don't have the science. And now we've got, okay, we've done what, a dozen tags? You need to do a hundred tags. We need more people involved, right? We need more people to give everything so you can figure out these fish, what they are, because they're the biggest fish on the East Coast. They drive this whole economy, right? This is huge. So it's very important that we figure out where these fish are really going so we can protect them in the future. That's what it's all about putting satellite tags on striped, striped bass. It's never been done before uh, using these mini PSAT devices that give us, you know, just a world of information. You know, we know we're at the, at the tip of the iceberg of something really big in terms of the behavior of these fish. Just couldn't be more excited about what we're gonna learn this time around. The data research that we get for these fish, being able to document that important game fish, their their, their habits, their, where they travel, to be able to get all that data and to keep the sustainability of the fishery is just amazing. In years past, we've deployed our mini pat from Wildlife Computers. This tag tracks the migration path and the behavior patterns. We're starting a new technology that we've never introduced before to our study, and that's the MR pat. The MR pat is a recording device that marks the initial deployment and the release deployment. We won't get the tracking in that map, but we'll also be able to identify where that fish was first deployed and then where that fish released its tag from. In addition, we deploy our gray fish tag research green spaghetti tag. So our program is just growing as we continue to add different areas of tracking devices. how we do it here in Raritan Bay. <laughs> See what we got here, Mike. There you go. Okay. Try fast, going overboard with our satellite tag, Chuck Manny on the time end, and Bob, let her go, Chuck. Let's do it. Big network. People ask why why it is we, we do this, and um, it's something we're extremely passionate about. You know, we love fishing, we love the outdoors, we love nature, and one of the coolest parts about fishing is that it's a total mystery what goes on in the water. Where do these fish go? How do they spawn? Uh, what are their feeding habits, their migration patterns? So all these little data points we can get kind of help us solve that, uh, that puzzle. They're all little puzzle pieces to what we love. Um, and it helps us become better fishermen and better conservationists at the same time. You know, we often deal in the recreational community, especially, we're always hearing about best available science. Well, the theory here is if we throw more science, make more science and more data available, it can only lead to good things. Uh, and it's really not just the satellite tagging either. That's one component, long-term migration of these big fish. But what's been really cool uh, coast-wide with us is with gray fish tag research, distributing these green streamer tags to our for hire fleet. Really excited to be part of this gray's fish tagging. We're gonna tag some striped bass today in Raritan Bay, maybe New York Harbor, and we can't wait to see what the results are. As of two years ago, we had no idea where the stripers were going. I think it's a great program. But these satellite tags, they can follow a fish from the minute it, the tag is inserted until the tag pops out, uh, I think three or four months later. And it's continually collecting data. Unlike a spaghetti tag like the Littoral Society uses, those tags, you only can get any information at all is when that fish is recaptured and where it, how much it had grown during that time period. So this is a very, very unique, important way that ultimately, ultimately will become a very good scientific tool 
Uh, right now there's, I think, 12 tagged fish with these satellite tags, and they're learning a lot of new information. Eventually, they'll, hopefully, there'll be a big enough population where scientists will really latch onto it and come up with some real meaningful statistical data. So it's great to be part of it. Thank you. Really excited to be here with Grays, putting a satellite tag in another striped bass so we can learn where these fish migrate. It's a great way to get data and add to that repertoire of what we know about striped bass. It's going to be an exciting day. Taking striped bass with satellite tags is really important because it tracks the migration of these fish, showing us where they're going in places that we typically wouldn't know that they go otherwise. Um, it all leads to a better future fishery, understanding these fish even more and, well, in the long run, better angling opportunities for anybody who's targeting them. We want to get that data. We want to find out what the striped bass are doing, where they're traveling, uh, how frequently they're moving about, and we can do all that with the satellite tag. This fish, striped bass, is, is personal to me. You know, growing up in Delaware and, and growing up uh, in the Northeast, I just want this species to thrive for my son, for his son, his daughters, um, my daughter, and uh, we have to we have to preserve them and 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 get the data to make sure that it's a healthy fishery for now until forever. What's different about this study is it's not just going to an area and counting fish or people counting fish or tagged fish. This is actually giving you data, real-time data on how deep this fish swam, how many times it came to the surface, where it went, why it went there. Some of the first fish we, we caught, they were released here in Raritan Bay. They swam out to, um, I believe it was, um, if not the Hudson Canyon, uh, it was Block Canyon. Um, it went right from here, right out to the canyon, not even within in three miles of shore. So a lot of the information that comes back is really remarkable, interesting, and unexpected. But this is the kind of information that if you keep doing this year after year after year, it's gonna get traction. It's good, solid science. You can't argue with the transponders and the satellite tags. We've never known where the bats have gone after this and where what they've been doing and where they've been and how long it takes them to get back and forth. So now they're tagging them with satellite tags and they're seeing a track. And it's rather important to us to know when they're gonna come and where they've gone. Hey, g'day, g'day guys, good, good to see you again. Listen, we had a lot of fun. We went 100 for 100, we never lost any fish. We only found eight, we tagged them. Had a great day, nice to be back. Nice to see a lot more people here this, this year. So, uh, very passionate thing about me, and we did, we did find a Mr. Freddy this week, this, uh, today too, so he's looking out. Thanks, Mike. So we had a great time, 10 fish we caught, yep. beautiful striped bass, we were able to tag them all. You got the biggest one. I caught the biggest one. Andre pulled through. Yeah, just under uh, 49 inches. Brian had a double header on the Mojos, that was yep. fun, that was exciting. About 33 pounds total, 34 Combined pounds. Combined 33 pounds, yeah. Over yeah. double out. So that was fun. But. We got the spaghetti tags in nine, we went to lift the 10th fish over, he uh, came off, but overall it was a good day. A lot of fish, a lot of tags in, so hopefully we'll get some good information back on these fish and learn a little bit more about them. Just so great to have everybody come into town uh, from all over the place, uh, up and down the Atlantic coast, inland as well, to come out and tag stripers. And I think there's uh, just so much more than just the satellite tags that we're doing. It's to have so many people have such a great time putting in the gray fish tag research streamer tags. So hopefully we get some good returns out of this particular day and every other day we're tagging out here. But God, I love this place, love it. Our mission was accomplished early in the morning. We tagged a 40 inch striped bass. That fish came in fast. We tagged that fish, resuscitated it, and it took off really healthy. We got two ta satellite tags deployed. It was tough fishing, but it looks like about 100 stripers tagged out of the team today. Awesome, we're fired up to see where they go. I'm really proud to be working with uh, authorities like Gray Fish Tag Research and to have corporate sponsors who also contribute to this really important project, you know, the Northeast Striped Bass Satellite Tagging Study.